Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ginger Broderick, and I'm the host of the Ginger New York TV show. Welcome to Ginger New York on Friday afternoon here at MNN TV Studios. And guess what? It's my birthday show. So we have a great band in for you today. It's called White Collar Crime, and it's a lot of wonderful musicians that have been here in the music scene here in New York City for many, many years. They have a new CD out, White Collar Crime, and they have a performance at the bitter end tomorrow night celebrating their 30-year anniversary. And what better way to celebrate my birthday is to bring them in. So they are going to start off the show. They're going to do a few songs for you, and then we're going to have a couple of the members come over and talk with us. So I want to introduce White Collar Crime. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming in. Big show today. Big day. So thank you for coming in, and uh, take it away whenever you're ready.
guys are doing out there in New York. Blue 
Well, thank you so much, and congratulations on uh, your 30-year anniversary for Whew, the band. Pursuit and insanity, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been a, been a long, a long road to get to this album, but I think it turned out really good. Yeah, it's wonderful I mean, music. We uh, we had a lot of help and a lot of great people working on it. Uh, Tim Hatfield and uh, these guys are, are amazing. Uh, most of them have been around for a long, long time. Uh, we're great. Uh, Alan has been with me for pretty much the whole ride. Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, Scott Warren has been with me for about 28 years. Oh, and, my. Uh, and flew, flew in from California, Whoa. especially for this. So. Boy, are his arms tired. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you know, heckling from the crowd. <laughs> Ginger's going to appreciate that having been going through comedy in comedy school to, uh, <laughs> to recognize how bad Alan's jokes are. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a great ride. Dave Gelman has been with me for like 27 years, and uh, David in his own right is, uh, has a great album out of his own, and uh, yeah. I urge you to check him out. Uh -huh. But a lot of really very talented people have gotten us here. and uh, You have a large group, you know? Yeah, well... I thought it was only going to be like two or three. Didn't we talk about it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then no. it was like growing and Surprise. growing and growing. And I was like, you Jeff know, it, Smith. 
happen? It's, it's, you know? it's really it's really funny. Every time I try to just do a solo show and I say, hey, you know, and if you want, you know, I'm going to be over at this place just doing a guy and a guitar thing, and all of a sudden, I'm surrounded by people. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because they really know that you know I I really don't sound great without them. So, <laughs> so it's kind of like a public safety thing. Uh huh. You know? There you go. Exactly. So. And I want to big, give a big shout to Narina Barbella. She's in the audience. Yay, Narina! <laughs> She's been, I've been a fan of hers for like decades, probably just as many years, 30 years. I oh, go back fantastic. a long way with Narina. Yeah. yeah, so she's a treat to be here I'll, in the studio. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. But, um, you know, uh, we went back and forth on, on the email chain, and uh, I know that the whole mini storage thing caught your eye. Oh. oh. I've got to tell you, the first time you ever took me to the mini storage, I was like, I'm going to be on Dateline. I know it. I'm going to get murdered in this mini storage unit. <laughs> so just for the audience to know that the band always rehearse at Manhattan Mini Storage. Right. You know? uh, that, that was Scott Warren. Uh, and Idea? His, his, his brainchild. We, in the early 90s, uh, Scott had a mini storage space, a 20 by 20, uh, with a couple of guys. And we'd be out. This was obviously before we were married and stuff. And we'd be out late and Scott would say, hey, why don't we go to the space? And, <laughs> and you know, if you buy the CD and we'll be launching a, a website shortly, and there'll be a, a conversation about the space. And the space is really part of the DNA of the band. And uh, because you could go in there and people would come, come over and visit and they'd look at the space and they'd be like, you're kidding. Uh, <laughs> and, and, like uh, you're kidding, excited, like, or k well, kidding? Uh, like initially, we're, we're like rehearsing like, in a storage like, unit. You no, know, more like, <laughs> am I being punked? Um, <laughs> and, oh. and, but Scott, me, and a couple of other guys would go in there at like 1:30 in the morning after hanging out at the lakeside with like Roscoe Ample and and a whole bunch of other people, and we'd go in and we'd just hang out and work on stuff until like you know four in the morning. And it was just a great environment to incubate a lot of stuff and develop the sound of the band. And mm -hmm. uh, it was just fantastic. And, you know, Andrea, uh, <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> uh, Andrea and I met through. All right. Well, we uh, met through uh, Craigslist. Craigslist. <laughs> yes, we did. Because and you didn't get murdered. And I didn't twice. get murdered. But I went, what did you interview her at the storage? No, no at she the space. No, I'm sorry. She answered. She answered an ad for being my babysitter, oh. not my yep. babysitter, but, but you know. But let's be honest, I am your babysitter. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's true, and, and many people's fantasies, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I, I came over, he had a little five-year-old at the time, uh -huh. and I was auditioning and kind of doing my whole New York thing, it was a great kind of flexible gig. And she and sent a picture of her holding this little turtle, and, I, and she said, how would you like a Disney princess who makes great cookies yep. <laughs> to babysit your child. And and I, I looked at it, my wife was a little more skeptical, but I was I was in. <laughs> and ironically, his wife and his daughter also have red hair. Oh, and wow. so Matt's constantly surrounded by by I the roll. redheads. And but um <laughs> one yeah, one night, you know, he said, You've got a degree in musical theater, like I've got oh, it wow. I've got a duet. Dream you, the Dream, the first dream song the dream, we did. The one we just say? did. Uh -huh. And he said, why don't you take a listen and you can come and like, kind of like sit in with the band some night. And I went, okay, that's, that's great. And, and it started out with years? one song. So uh -huh. this was about nine years ago, okay. I think. And um, then it was discovered that, because I've been, I've been an alto my whole life. I never get the melody. So I can sing a harmony to anything. And I said, well, right. let, yeah, let's do some harmonies. And it kind of snowballed from there. And Matt likes to say. Matt likes to say that I was demoted from babysitter to singer in the band. Right. So and then, and here then, we are. You know, uh, <laughs> and everybody, you know, uh, white collar crime has been known to basically spot talent and then they go off and they expand their horizons and you uh -huh. can see Dana on stage with like Dana, uh, Andrea with Dana Fuchs mm -hmm. and uh, you'll see that on her New York gigs. And mm -hmm. uh, That's coming up April 8th and 9th. Okay. April 8th and 9th we'll yeah. be at the Iridium. At the Iridium mm -hmm. yep. and uh, that's going to be great as always. Dana is always great mm -hmm. and um, you know uh, it's a, the 30 years have been really an amazing 
community. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, more than anything else, that's what keeps us together. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I mean, we've spent holidays together, we, many holidays usually, together. Yeah, usually we just trade. We have Christmas dinner at one place, we have New Year's in another, and Kevin is beyond a phenomenal cook. Uh, Beyond our bass player. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Great bass player. It's Dana's but, husband. But, yes, yes. It's, mm -hmm. it is Dana's husband. But but Kevin is uh, beyond imagination cook, mm -hmm. and um, and all of these guys um, have touring credits, songwriting credits, recording credits, and we've all managed to keep the passion of our music together. Um, I've been writing for a long time, but. My, my songs have uh, dimension and life to them uh, that I never imagined because mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, you know, no one wants to deal with the nonsense that I deal with, with the clubs and the booking and everything else. So. Well, aren't you an attorney? Uh, <laughs> a former attorney yeah, or something? I, 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 I had practiced. The band started at Proskauer Rose uh -huh. with four young, very bored, uh, <laughs> attorneys. Alan and I are still together, um, but you know Scott is still a partner at, uh, at Decker Price, and he does some incredibly ornate, uh, esoteric stuff, uh, biomedical, oh patent my. lawyer. Wow. And uh, when he explains, it's hard. yeah, when he explains, you know, his l cases are, you know, one drug is competing for a cell site with another, and I'm like. I, I don't even understand Ooh. it. You know, but, but, back to music. Back, yeah. Uh, what was that chord you just played? Uh, but and uh, and and Scott and I have had a really symbiotic relationship in as far as songwriting because he'll be sitting there and he'll strum something because he's just bored talking to me, which is, you know, when you're talking about someone who deals with that, he's easily bored with me. Uh, but. He'll strum a few things, and uh, like New York Rain, he had the chorus, and I was like, wait, wait, what, what was that? And uh -huh. in this space, when you don't have a clock running, you can sit around for two hours and work it up. Interesting. So. <clears throat> and then, uh, how did you come about with the band name? Because that's a little tricky one. Uh, white gonna, collar crime. Yeah. Were well, you an attorney for white collar crime? No, <laughs> my, my, I blame my mother. Uh, for everything. Uh, I blame her too. I did. I'll jump in. <laughs> Thank, yeah. Thanks, Rochelle. <laughs> jump in, the water's warm. Um, yeah, my, uh, my mother, uh, initially when we started to play, we, I said to her, you know, I'm, I'm going to go back to being in a band, and she's like, not that nonsense again. And four lawyers from Proskauer, and she was, she was a blue sky lawyer at, at, at a large firm also, and she said, you're wasting your time. That is a white collar crime. <laughs> and there, there you go. go. <laughs> and it's like, all right, that works. Uh, so yeah, it does. Yeah, it's but fine. she used to come down and give us constructive yeah. criticism, as only a mother could. And uh, yeah, so she she would do that. And we went down to the Lower East Side, which is very different now, but yeah. it was a war zone then. Yeah. Alphabet City. We actually played in a place called the Parlor, which was a former funeral parlor, like literally like three weeks earlier it had stopped operating wow. and uh, <laughs> someone took it over and we played on the pedestal where the oh my yeah, where was, like the coffin goes yeah, yeah. It was, <laughs> New York stories yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, like I said we're gonna uh, we're gonna start the website purely because we have volumes of these things over 30 years we used to call each other up and say, hey, did you see on page 16 of the post, some guy got killed right outside the bar we played. Uh -huh. no, it, no kidding. Uh, yeah. But yeah, and now we're, we're going tomorrow night, we're going to play at the Bitter End for our good friend and longtime supporter, I mean, really good to the band, Pete Fogel, mm -hmm. who is, as you know, he is uh, one of the really, really good people in uh, the New York club scene. I have played every club Pete has booked. Really? Mm -hmm. Le Bar Bat, mm -hmm. Lizard Lounge, which no one remembers but Pete and I do. Uh, <laughs> maybe not such a great memory, but we mm -hmm. remember it. Um, the Lone Star yeah. and all of these places. And, Those are 80s. And yeah, and Pete, Pete took us with him. And That's he, wonderful, and, yeah. Uh, we, had, we had shows where I would walk in for an 8 o'clock slot and he'd be like, you're, you're not going to like it, but we have to push it back to 10 because 
we have this party and it's running long and he's actually you you should come in and uh, Alan and I would end up on the stage with oh, wow. with, with Pete Seeger and wow. like the Weavers and everybody and we end up playing with these guys you know will the circle be unbroken the, the story is over 30 years in New yeah. York if you're on the stage are really incredible mm -hmm. and um, you know, sometimes I think about moving out of New York City, but the music scene keeps me here. I mean, because mm -hmm. you really can't go anywhere else and have such exactly. great musicianship. I, I don't think anyway. I mean, uh, and hear my host shows based on it too. You know? And and it's yeah. funny because when Scott moved to San Francisco, uh, Kevin, I called Kevin up and I said, "Hey, uh, you know, Bendis is playing over at the at the Shrine. It's really convenient. Why don't we go see him?" and John and Kevin know each other from MTV days mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 25 years ago, 30 years ago, when they played music. <laughs> uh, strange. Um, and we went up there, and, and uh, John said something he regrets today. Uh, you know, I heard Scott moved to San Francisco. <laughs> I could be your new Scott. I heard there's a vacancy. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and if you ask him right now, he's off camera now, but we could ask him how much he regrets that. Uh, I, I have to tell you something. We're going to go off in the air in just a few seconds. So yeah. I just want to welcome you so much for coming Ginger, in. Ginger, thank show. you. Happy birthday. Thank Happy you. Birthday. White thank you so crime. much for having Come us. down tomorrow night. Yes. You'll and be there, yeah? Yes, I okay. will. <laughs> thank you so much, everyone, for joining in this afternoon's show. My name is Ginger Broderick. It's White Collar Crime. Check them out. Bitter end tomorrow night for the 30-year anniversary party and their CD release.